Hi friends, it's Annie Grace, author of This Naked Mind, and I am out and about today, but I still wanted to answer a question. Today's question comes from Mateo, and Mateo asks, he says, how do you gracefully say no? Because I get a lot of hassle when I don't want to drink. So what are some tips and tricks to just say no and kind of end the conversation? So I think it's a really good question. I mean, I was really surprised by how much pressure people put on you to drink, and I went into it somewhat naively, I think, because I thought, all right, well, no one's going to care. I'm doing what I'm doing. It's my own body. Nobody's going to pressure me. And then I remember the first time I went out in London with a bunch of colleagues and I ordered, you know, the people I had been drinking with, I had stopped drinking. I ordered like a tonic and lime or something. And the questions were like, whoa, like stop the like everybody was looking at me all of a sudden like what well why are you pregnant like what's going on like you know there were so many questions and I, I just wasn't prepared for it and um, so I think it's a really really good point um, first of all I'll say that if people have been drinking with you and they're your close friends you probably owe them a little bit of an explanation as to you know yeah I just feel better about it these days or I don't want to drink anymore um, because I'm happier without drinking or whatever the case is for you but if you're just in a random situation with strangers, here's a few tips. Before I get into the tips though, I think there's something really important that's happening. Like why do people feel uncomfortable when you say no to a drink? So my brother was over the other day and he and I, well, he was making dinner and he eats 100% organic, vegan, has been you know very healthy for a very long time. And I was asking him about it and he's like, yeah, there's a really big stigma. Like people get upset about the fact that, you know, I won't eat out because he doesn't know what's going into his food necessarily unless it's kind of an organic shop. And, and we were trying to explore that and I was like, huh, that's so interesting. So people really get upset. And I was thinking about it and it's because by him only deciding to put really pure organic food in his body, he's basically saying, I value my body, I value myself, I'm, I'm going to take care of myself. And if other people aren't doing that, they, they look at you and say, well, who are you to elevate yourself above the rest of us? Who are you to care that much about what you put into your body? And, and if you're doing that, then you must think I'm, you know, not responsible for my body or something. So instantly, just in him eating vegan and organic, people feel judged for what they're eating. And there was this big light bulb moment for me, like, oh, that happens with drinking too. Just by me deciding that I don't want to put alcohol in my body anymore, people feel completely judged because they are still drinking and they're putting alcohol in their body. So I think that it's a really interesting dynamic where you've in an unintentionally elevated yourself because you've decided to be more conscious and more intentional about what things go into your body. And so that dynamic is just worth being aware of because it's a source of a lot of the weirdness. And if you're wondering, well, where that's coming from, it, it might just happen naturally because people just can naturally feel kind of like, well, who are you to, you know, I, a little bit judged by that. But here's some really practical things to do that have worked for me over the years of saying no that I've learned that really works. So the first one is, is really obvious, but just have something in your hand already. So I usually bring my own, like, like I'll bring some kombucha or I'll bring like a uh, club soda or I'll bring some cranberry and lime juice or something and I just have my own drink, whether it's a coffee mug or whatever. And then people just don't even ask you if you have your own drink. Um, the other thing is just keep the conversation as small as it needs to be. Like if you go into the conversation and someone says, hey, can I get you a drink? And you say, oh, I don't know. You know, I'm not really drinking right now. Like you're just opening a big fat wide door for them to say, oh, come on. How you just have one? Come on. And, and you know, so any hesitation on your part is just going to open this big door of come on, just have one. So, you know, keep the conversation small and firm and just be like, oh, no, thank you. And then. I think that this is my best tip yet is that we as humans, we just don't like to say no. We don't like to hear no. So don't say no, say yes. Just say yes to what you actually want to put into your body. So would you like a drink? Yes, I'd love a Diet Coke or even better say yes with a reason because then that just totally eliminates like the entire conversation. Would you like a drink? Oh yes, please. I'd love some water. I'm so dehydrated today. Oh yes, please. I'd love some coffee. I really need some caffeine first thing. I'm feeling tired. And just that reason of why you're choosing whatever it is. Yes, I'd love a Coke. I really need the caffeine. You know, 
completely eliminates and makes that conversation really small. So I just say, be really confident, try to say, yes, I'd love whatever you do want, and that really eliminates it because where can they go from there? They can't really say, oh, well, you know, it, it just makes it awkward. And, um, and just kind of try to give a reason and just be prepared for the fact that people will, just like eating vegan, just like doing anything else where you're saying, okay, I care about my body, People do take that strangely personally, and it doesn't seem like it should be the case, but unfortunately it is. And and the good news is that by doing it and letting your actions sort of speak louder than your words, you know, you are setting this really phenomenal example. So thank you so much, Mateo. Great question. I hope everyone has a really good weekend. And again, if you have any questions, just put them in the messages. Um, this is Annie Grace, author of This Naked Mind. Have a great day.